All right, we are going to do another video from page 1088, Story Problems, on pages 12 through 15. And uh, you'll notice here on page 12, there are several steps laid out. Read the problem carefully. You're looking for key words like less than, more than, half. Write down what the variable represents. So we'll use the letter X, you know, as a variable. What, what is that? Number of students, number of tickets, number of apples, you know, whatever. And then break the word problem into shorter phrases. Solve for the variable. And then uh, it, makes it, it makes it look real easy, you know. <laughs> Let's look at um, page 14. And uh, at the very, uh, the very first problem there on page 14 says, Pastor and Mrs. Gentle visited 10 more church members this week than the number they visited last week divided by 4. If they visited 16 members this week, how many did they visit last week? Okay. <clears throat> now this is a hard problem. And I'll tell you why, okay? Because we have to think. And um, teenagers don't really always like to think. And they just want to see a problem that they can easily solve and get an answer. But that doesn't challenge our brain as much. And actually, this kind of problem is a, is a lot more like real life than some of the other ones that we've been doing. And the reason we do all of these problems leading up to this is to get our brain ready to do real everyday world math. So we've got to be able to think these types of problems through, all right? I'll help you with a couple of them, but the others I want you to kind of struggle through, do your best, all right? And then uh, parents especially, let me just point out to you, if you're helping your teen with this, I would encourage you to sit with them, okay? And talk your way through these. These are hard for a teen to do on their own, and they probably need some coaching. This is some of the higher levels of thinking or critical thinking, and um, it's not easy for someone to do it just on their own, okay? I will tell you, parents, in the score key, they don't give the exact equation. They first tell you what the answer is, and then if you look at the way they solve the problem, they do kind of set up an equation, but they have the number plugged in right away as if they're checking their answer. But if you replace the number um, that the answer is with the variable x, basically you'll have the equation. So that's kind of your starting point in uh, guiding your teen, you know, to set up the equation, okay? So you can kind of have that off to the side, look at it, and then try to get their, kind of guide their thinking. Let me show you how to do that here on this problem. Um, number, number one, yes, number one <laughs> on page 14. So they visited 10 more, okay? So 10 more this week. And uh, then the number they visited last week, so we have last week, but they say we're dividing that by four, okay? So the number last week divided by four, <clears throat> and then it says if they visited 16 this week, So we're going to let the, the variable x be the number that they visited last week. How many church members' homes did they knock on the door and say, hey, can we come in for a cup of coffee? Okay. So we're going to first take x, which is the number they visited last week, divide by 4, and then it tells us that they visited 10 more church members this week than last week's number divided by 4. So 10 more than this. So plus 10 equals the number they visited this week, which they told us is 16. Okay? So now to solve this problem, we're going to subtract 10 from both sides. All right? So I'll have x over 4 equals, whoops, 6. And then to solve for x, 
you will multiply both sides by four and that should give you the correct answer and i'm just double checking page 14. yes that would give you the correct answer all right i'll let you finish that one then let's turn the page and i think another really challenging problem is um, page 15 number six okay page 15 number six two-thirds of the members of highland church attended the international dinner during the annual missions conference hey that's what we do at our church we have an international missions conference coming up in february it says when seven of the members were not able to attend the total number of attendees was 71. so let's think about what it's telling us here I would, the way I would word this actually is two thirds of the members signed up to attend the banquet, okay? So the two thirds of the members bought tickets to the banquet. So two thirds, we're gonna let X equal the number of members. Because that's what we're asked to find. How many members does the church have? All right? So X is the number of members. Two thirds of x so two-thirds times x and of course you know that we could write that as 2x over 3 it'd be the same thing but then it says that two-thirds of them you know maybe registered for the banquet but then seven of them got sick i don't know about your church but right now we have a lot of people getting the cold and the flu bug because it's winter and people say they're going to come to something and then at the last minute can't come so two-thirds of them signed up but then seven of them got sick and couldn't come and so then it says the total number who actually attended was 71. all right so let's think about how you're going to solve this then once you have the root equation now we'll add the seven to both sides take that answer multiply by three and then you'll be down to 2x equals a number and then you know what to do from there okay the hard part is setting it up and so we took the variable x set it equal to how many members does the church have and then we read the problem and saw that two-thirds of the members registered to come but then seven of them got sick and couldn't come so the actual number that came was two-thirds of the members take away seven 71 all right again this, this takes a little more effort. Thankfully, they only have a few of these problems. So do your best, okay? The, the benefit comes by struggling through it and trying to get it, okay? Don't copy them from the score key. Ask mom or his big brother or somebody to kind of help you try to think it through. And once a light bulb starts to come on and you say, I think I'm getting this. All right, awesome. That'll be good, okay? The uh, next thing is the checkup. And I would encourage you to just uh, make sure all your work is corrected and, and rescored. Make sure you don't have any problems. See if, uh, if you need any help, um, go back and ask for some help. Thankfully, they only have one story problem on that checkup on page 17. And we'll see you after that.